Hey guys, Amy here with Leap of Faith Crafting. So I've tried to record this video a couple times and my microphone never worked. So we're hoping it works today. So today I thought since it's a new year, I know a lot of you just got a Cricut machine and trying to navigate Cricut Design Space. So I thought I'd give you just kind of brief overview of where everything is in Design Space. This is a software you will need for any of the Cricut machines that you have. You can do it on a PC, which I am on right now, a computer, or a. Um, there's also an app for a smartphone or a tablet or iPad. But when you first get into Cricut Design Space, this is what you'll get if you're not registered. That will be brought up to, for you to create a free account. And then once you have that, we are in here. So Design Space changes this quite a bit. So if you're here, you know, later in the year, this might be different. They do updates quite a bit. So sometimes the home screen will look a little bit different, but this is where you have a home screen and then you have your canvas tabs up here on the left side. When you come in here, there's a lot, you're in the discover tab. So there's tons of stuff in here. Um, they suggest things for me based on what I do and then also projects kind of based on what I do and then it talks about fonts and then obviously right now Valentine's Day is coming up so there is a lot of Valentine's stuff that you can scroll through and just get ideas of what to make planners and calendars are big right now um, so lots of community projects in here and then here's even made by Cricut employees down here so lots of stuff to just kind of browse through um, if you just need to get inspired. Okay, and then there is my stuff. So my stuff is all my projects that I have, um, anything that I have bookmarked, and then any ready to make projects that I have. And this is usually because when I, they have free projects associated with like the Cricut Maker 3 and things like that, and those come in here. So if you're back in Discover here, if you see anything like the Halloween manner that you want to make right here is the bookmark tab. So you can always bookmark that and that will be added into your collection of things that you have bookmark, which is where you find in my stuff and then bookmark. And then there's all Cricut has a bunch of different stuff of getting started Cricut learn. You can access the heat guide directly from here. Oh, I'm going to back out of that shop and navigation tour all that kind of stuff okay so when you want to start a new project you can either click on new project here or you can just go to the canvas and then up here on the right side is where you're going to pick your machine because if you're doing something for the joy versus the explore 3 obviously the size difference are huge so you'll you're going to get warnings and things like that if things are out of um if they're too big for that machine and also the drop downs will be different okay so let's run down this left side here of panels of all the stuff new is it just if you want to open a new project templates um, I will go over all of these stuff I will go over a little bit more in different tutorials and I can link them to below of some of them that I already have because um, I don't want to make this too long and too overwhelming for you but templates is something you can come in here and if you want to say you're making a shirt, you can click on this and it will kind of give you a template to size things. These things obviously will not be saved and they don't cut, but it's there. Um, okay, projects. This is where there's tons of projects all within put on here again by the Cricut community or from Cricut itself. So this is if you want to get in and you can search for anything say you want to do like a birthday card and you'll just search birthday card and then you can even filter it to things that are free within Cricut access if you have it Cricut only community only featured you know and then all, all the different categories and things like that they usually always do have a free category so if you don't have Cricut access you can look within here and find projects and things like that and then say when you click on them they usually will always have the description of it materials you need 
and then some description on how to assemble. Um, this is usually the assemble is not always there in directions. Um, usually that was probably, yeah, these are all by Cricut themselves. Um, if we just go into a community one, usually those ones will not have. So say we just go into community only. And these are ones that people have saved and a lot of them, they're really cool. So they're really fun to look through too, but usually they don't have instructions on them. Okay, so you can see here, it does say everything that was used in the card, but it doesn't have instructions. It just kind of shows you what it, the pictures of what it is. So just be mindful of that. If you're clicking on something and they don't have the instructions, most likely it is a community member that has put that up there. Okay, so then you go down and then here's just all your things you're going to be using for designing. Here are your shapes, the free ones that you can use if you don't have access, and then more here. Images are where you're going to come into and you can search if you have Cricut access. There is hundreds of thousands in here. Um, this is where you're going to look for all the images you might want. You know, you can, there's always toolbars up here to search exactly what you want. And then there's always filters in here that, you know, if you only want to print and cut, you can choose that. If, you know, you're doing a mug or a card, it will filter through these things. So something you can kind of just look down through. And then here is adding our text box. Oops. And the zoom is down here on that left side there. I don't know why I had it so far down, but this is where the text box will come in that you can type text in. Okay, and then once you have your text, you can go through and here are your fonts in here. Oops. The font up here, drop down here, and you have everything within Cricut here. And everything that has that green right there is, means Cricut Access. So if you have Cricut Access, that is all included for you. So then you can go into Cricut or anything that you've downloaded on your computer will be in your system. So I have a gazillion of them because, you know, I love my Creative Fabrica and I download a ton of them because you can use them from, for commercial use. And again, just like the projects, you can bookmark these um, to put in ones that you love so that you don't have to go through so many because fonts can be crazy. <laughs> it's usually the hardest part is figuring out the font. Okay, phrases is just kind of another image um, search, but it's only for things that have words in it. Then edible images is something that anything with these blue, you can actually edit it. So you don't have to design a lot. Um, and I have a video on using edible images. I will leave that link below. Here is your upload button for uploading images and pattern fills from the internet or ones that you've downloaded from free sites, from my site or everything like that. So I will, I also have a video just on uploading. Um, and then the monogram, this is for Cricut Access members that you have this access here to make monograms within Design Space. Okay, so then up here on your top panel is kind of all your design tools. This is where your operation is. This is where um, having your um, machine set over here is going to make. So right now up here on that right, you can see I have that um, Maker 3 selected. So if I go down into operation, I have all of the different cuts with these different tips that I have and then different ways to draw the foil, the score, the boss and gray print and cut everything there. And I don't know why my machine keeps going white on there. Um, but if we change this, say, to the Cricut Joy, you will notice that we only have the cut, basic, and then a pen and foil. 
up there. Okay, so then you have, you know, your cut, copy, duplicate, and your edits. So these are pretty much pretty similar to most software that you'll be using. Arrange, bringing things back to front. You know, you're flipping if you need to mirror something. And then your offset. You can offset something to get a shadow layer. Okay, and then there is a warp feature in here. Again, this is for Cricut Access members. Um, you can change your size here, rotate. And again, like I said, this is just an overview. So these are, you know, this whole one up here, um, there's a lot to it here. So in the style, you can change if you want to do like a writing font, you can change that. I don't know what my screen is doing. Um, and then you can change the font size here, you know, the letter space, the space in between the letters, the line space if you have more than one line, alignment, you know, center, right, left. Here is the curve feature if you want to curve something. So it can go up and down like that. Again, with that offset, the offset just adds that shadow layer there that you can make bigger and smaller. And then up here is where you can change the color of things. Okay, so let's look over here on the right side. Here's where you will save stuff. Just click on it and name it and it will save to your projects. You have your layers here of everything you have a layer on. And then here is the group and ungroup button. So if I wanted to group both of these together, I would just use my cursor, drag them over both of them. Right now they are both highlighted that green. That means they are both selected and we can click on group. And then you <clears throat> can see it groups there. Here is a duplicate button and here is a delete button. Color sync is, um, shows you all the different colors on your, in your project, this relates a lot to mats because Cricut differentiates all your cuts based on the colors. So each color will have its own mat. So you'll see that kind of as we go through and do different um, tutorials and things. Okay, and then if we go back into layers, down here are more of your editing tools. You can slice things out of each other. Here's the combine. These are, you know, just like Adobe Illustrator, Inkscape, things like that. And I'll link a tutorial below about using all of these. And then you have your attach fun function, your flatten. Flatten is pretty much only used when you're doing a print and cut. And then a contour, which I have another video about too. Okay, so just giving you kind of the brief overview of using this here, um, of where things are. I find it very user friendly in their updates. Um, I'm going to do another tutorial about, just about some hacks and some things like that um, that you might know not know that you have the option for here. But anyway, um, I hope that helped just giving you a layout. And again, I will link some videos below of using all of these things specifically um, in different projects. So anyway, thanks so much for stopping by.